welcome back to another video we're gonna take a look at katia v5 and how we can apply multiple sections at the same time so i have the case study part over here as you can see this has been imported as a step file and on the bottom within part design we can apply dynamic sectioning we can also define the plane so currently this set to x and y plane we can change it to y and z or to z and x and also we can use any kind of plane that um, that we want so we can just define them or we can just select them directly on the piece so over here as we can see within this cutout i can select those and afterwards i can use those for the dynamic sectioning now the main problem is that if i apply a dynamic section like this within part design as soon as i will um, leave this the section will be gone so how we can apply the section and also keep it to do that we need to define a new part so i'll go over here we create a new product so over here i will type in p for this and we're gonna go for product now within the product i can go for example within assembly design i will add the existing part which is this one so the case study part I will drag and drop it within the product and now within assembly design we're going to have access to sectioning and as we can see we can also apply the volume cut which is the dynamic section that we previously used within part design and again i can specify um, the plane so currently i can drag it like this i can go over here for, for position and i can um, apply a different one if i would like to have this from the other side i can also flip it so we're gonna have over here the invert normal as you can see we're gonna have the other side now with the section definition if i will click ok this will remain and it will remain active over here within the section if i want to apply a new one i can just go within the section I can specify that I want this to be again a volume cut. I can choose the position, for example, maybe over here. And I will position it on the z-axis. Now if I will maximize the part, we're going to see that we're going to have section 1 and section 2. If you want to make them not active, we can go over here so we can deactivate them. We can just right click and go over here and activate, deactivate the section cut. And if you only want to visualize one of them, again, we can only activate that. So this will be the first sectioning. And uh, if I will make this, I will deactivate that and only make the second section active. We're going to see how that will look on the top lane. So I hope that you find this content useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left side. I will add Katia V5 tips and tricks to the top. And I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.